hello friends radhika ravi kumar here so welcome back to my tutorial and uh, in my previous tutorial we have already discussed regarding the difference between the strong and uh, weak ref cursor so i just want to brief out the points um, which was concerned with the these strong and weak ref cursor that is i want to tell you like what is the advantages of the weak cursor over the strong ref cursor Okay, so now basically we know what is a ref cursor and what is the weak and strong ref cursor. So what exactly happens in strong and weak ref cursor is in strong ref cursor we have that uh, return type, right? And in weak ref cursor we have we don't have that return type. So because of this return type, what is the advantage of the weak cursor is this weak ref cursor or uh, whatever cursor like the weak ref cursor whatever you're creating the same cursor can be um, used in processing different result set at different point of time so that's what you need to remember while mentioning the advantage of the weak ref cursor over the strong ref cursor so what you're going to say is the same weak ref cursor can be used for processing different result set at different point of time that too that is like a different uh, like same uh, cursor can be used for different uh, for processing different results at a different point of time without creating uh, any multiple cursors so that is what is the uh, main advantage of the weak cursor over the strong ref cursor so it's the main point that you need to mention whenever you guys are attending any interviews and uh, no so that is the first point the second one is <coughs> it helps you to return multiple rec record data set from the procedure or function okay so you it uh, helps us to return multiple record data set from a procedure or a function <coughs> so these are the two things that you need to remember when you are uh, telling the uh, advantages of the weak cursor over the strong ref cursor so hope you guys are uh, familiar with these uh, ref cursors so what we'll do is we'll take up another one ref cursor is there that is our system ref cursor which I'll discuss in my next tutorial but as of now there's another uh, main uh, advantages and disadvantages I want to talk about that is about the static uh, cursor that is our normal cursor and uh, versus the ref cursor so this is something that uh, we are very familiar with so as we know about cursors obviously there will be a question on this like what is a static or the normal cursor and uh, between I mean the difference between the normal and the uh, ref cursor so for this what you need to do is um, there are few points that I list out so you can remember that and um, you know uh, go through I mean, first of all go through the main thing like what exactly is a cursor learn what are the types of cursor like implicit explicit cursors are there what is the difference between those so once you know about that that then you can come to ref cursor and learn about ref cursor as I said um, you can learn about the strong and weak ref cursor then you yourself will be able to make the difference between the static or the normal ref cursor and the um, dynamic or the ref cursor okay so first uh, difference is the normal cursor is static it's a very uh, common thing we know that okay but uh, this um, ref cursor works on dynamic com concept so this also I've discussed uh, a lot when I took up the initial uh, meaning of what exactly is a ref cursor so you guys can go back and watch that video if you want a clear explanation like what is the what is the meaning of dynamic when we are talking about ref cursor 
so this is the first point that you need to remember okay so the normal cursor is a static and uh, ref cursor works on the dynamic the second point is that um, uh, you can store only one type of result set in your normal uh, cursor store only one result set in a all the, you can store only one result set in your um, static ref cursor sorry static cursor but uh, what about this uh, uh, dynamic ref cursor or ref cursor is you can store multiple result set at different point of time so this is what this is the diff another second difference between the static cursor that's a normal cursor and the uh, ref cursor so I guess you guys understood what exactly means storing one result set and storing multiple result set then the third point is when you are writing this normal ref cursor you can see that you will attach the query for this ref cursor or sorry for this uh, static cursor at its declaration I will give you an example for that attach a query during its declaration but what happens for this um, um, ref cursor is you usually attach the query attach a query during its opening what it exactly means is I will explain you so here um, if you see this example you will be able to understand this is a uh, this is our ref cursor we have already discussed that you can see that I am declaring the cursor over here and uh, giving some uh, variable names and for this variable names we are trying to open a uh, query see we are attaching this query that is select star from EMP uh, during its uh, opening that is we are opening this variable and attaching the query that's what it means for um, like attaching a query during its um, you can see it's attach a query uh, during its opening that means you are um, trying to open a variable and attaching the query to it what about the attaching attach a query uh, during its declaration what it means is when you're writing the normal uh, uh, one second when you're writing a normal program you can see it here I'll just trunk this out because we just need the difference here when you're writing the normal uh, cursor you can see that you're trying to you know declare the query uh, the query to the cursor you're saying cursor uh, C customers is and then giving the query so this is what is the you're trying to you know attach the query during its declaration see it is a declared part and you're trying to attach the query during its declaration for uh, dynamic uh, cursor you can see that you are attaching the query during its opening so what is that is what is the difference between the these statements so that is what that's another difference between the static cursor and the ref cursor so these are the things and uh, as well another point to be noted is um, this uh, <coughs> cursor can't be passed as a, a parameter between uh, procedures okay whereas this ref cursor you can uh, pass the parameters parameters to the sub programs so that's what is the self, like fourth difference between these um, static and ref cursor so this what is about this is the very brief difference so whenever you are attending interviews you can make a note of this and say the same thing obviously these are the important points to be remembered as well so hope you guys have understood and um, what I'll do is in my next tutorial I'll come up with uh, 
the next ref cursor that's our sys ref cursor we'll see how we can work with it so please keep supporting my videos and uh, subscribe to my channel and thank you very much for watching